In August of 2017, a 14-year-old girl pleaded guilty to the violent murder of her foster mother by stabbing her multiple times with a serving fork. Prosecutors agreed to give Stephanie Huck the longest possible juvenile sentence for the murder of 61-year-old Linda Smith in exchange for not moving the case to adult court. Now, years later, Huck is back in a Mesa County courtroom. Rob Hagan joins us live from the Justice Center with the latest. Rob. Kyra, Stephanie Hawk is nearing her 21st birthday and the very reason for this two-day hearing. Now, Hawk could go to youth services. She could get parole, probation, or even go to prison. But before we get to that, here's how it all began. 14-year-old Stephanie Hawk is the daughter who pleaded guilty to the brutal murder of her foster mother, 61-year-old Linda Smith, in February 2017. Smith's sisters weigh in on Hawk's sentence months later in August. She's going to pay for this for the rest of her life. Arrest records show Smith was stabbed 11 times in her home at the 500 block of 29 and Half Road in Mesa County with a large two-pronged cooking fork found at the scene. The faces and the names that you see on the news we're real people. Don't just let them slip by. The then 14-year-old girl who murdered her foster mother received the maximum time a juvenile can serve, 10 years in the Division of Youth Services on charges including second-degree murder and second-degree assault and the death of Linda Smith. A deal made with prosecutors in exchange for not moving the case to adult court. 10 years does not seem like a lot, but in 10 years, a lot can happen. Now, six years later, Stephanie Hawk is an adult back in the courtroom facing the horrific actions from years past, reopening emotional scars for the victims, facing new questions and the same old ones, including what happens with Stephanie Hawk. Do you always want more? Now, yes. Stephanie Hawk has been diagnosed with PTSD and her therapist took the stand and said she has the mind of a child and she's not physically aggressive. Now the prosecution brought up five incidents including one f since December where they re recorded Hawk telling a staff member that she would burn their house down. Court continues Monday and I'll keep you posted. Live at the Mesa County Justice Center, Rob Hagan, KREX 5 News. Kyra. Thanks Rob.